Bizarre, ridiculous, embarrassing, tragic talks. Brett. Let's, uh, real briefly, let's talk about the politics of climate change. Okay, here's the problem. People just like to take a position and then argue against it. And so all the conservatives who are saying, there's no such thing as climate change. You can't tell me there's a thing that there isn't a thing. And then the, the, all the people on the other side are like, look, we have talked to the scientists and we're pretty convinced that the world's getting hotter and the hurricanes are getting bigger and uh, Miami is flooding and that is all really happening. And then they come back and they go, well, but, 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 it's just happening. It happens all the time. There was a there was a there was a time when the whole world was one continent and people didn't do that. That's a good argument. Here's the point. People don't argue with people from where they're at, right? If you want to convince conservatives to fight climate change, you you can't use that terminology. So I came up with a new idea. It's called the war on climate. We get them we get them where they feel it, like the ink, like get them mad at Earth, and then fighting. Like, for example, right now there's three, three freaking hurricanes in the middle of the Atlantic. Right, war on hurricanes. Right, like we convince them maybe to drop a bomb in those hurricanes, we'll try anything to stop them, and maybe a couple of failures, and they'll just like, they'll get mad and start getting behind it. Look, we don't need to convince people of the truth. We just need to convince them near it. That's my point. Brett talks. Talking, talking, talking.